Hi everybody, it's me, Jessica Lahore, and you're watching the Love of Colorado drag series that I've been doing. So this is going to be number 18, I believe, and basically it highlights drag entertainers in Colorado from all over the place in Colorado. I could have known them for one month, for four years, worked together once, worked together a bunch of times, uh, had a few interactions, not so many interactions, could be very close to them, not very close with them. The idea is just to highlight and show some love for the drag scene in Colorado because we have an incredible drag scene and other people need to realize it. We need to just support and show some more loves to people. Um, they could have been in the business for a long time. This video could be a minute long, 20 minutes long. It doesn't really matter. I talked about first impressions, which sometimes come off shady, but I feel like that's just a genuine approach to say how your opinions of people can change. So... That's one. Um, first impressions, favorite memories, songs, uh, performances, all kinds of stuff put into one video until I can't think of it anymore. So this is number 18, Love of Colorado Drag Series, and I was going to, to do it on Miss Mona Lott. Mona Lott. Okay, so let me just start off by saying that I've been a long-time follower, I think at least for four or five years, of Mona Lott. Uh, when I was just adding Jessica as a Facebook page, I was adding other queens in Colorado. She was one of the first group of people that I added to my page. And I, I, I'm i pretty sure that's... I'm pretty sure it was either four years ago. Four or five. So it was either right at the beginning or it was like that one year into it that I started realizing, oh, I gotta add people. Um, what I love about Mona Lot is that she is a person that knows exactly what her drag brings. She knows her value. She knows her worth. She knows her style and that she is in her own lane building her own success without worrying about these other bitches, okay? And I mean that in the nicest way. I don't really have a first impression of Mona Lot because my first impression was all social media based. It was kind of like, I saw this queen, she had a huge following, she was she had very unique, over-the-top makeup, very different type of costuming and hair, and I was like, I want to follow her. The first time I remember seeing her in, in person, I never actually met her. Um, I saw her at uh, Pride One Summer, and she was getting ready to get on a float over at Cheeseman Park to go over and do the parade. And I just remember that because she was wearing a very giant pride, like, ruffle coat. And I saw her. I knew that was Mona Lot. I just knew that was her. Um, so those are my first, like, impressions, is that I just kind of got the base off of social media. What I love about Mona Lot is when it comes to, I think in my previous video, I was like, there's only, like, three, maybe four people that could do a one-woman show. Mona Lot does a one-woman show already, and she does it successfully. She's got reviews, she's got people that come to see specifically her, she is well-known for her repertoire of jokes, and I think that that speaks a lot because there aren't many people confident enough to be able to hold themselves to do a one-woman show, but also... Mona has been, pu not pushing, Mona has been, like, not slowly, but, what is the word that I'm thinking of? Mona has been, oh, what is the word? Mona has been integrating herself with drag and in other outlets a lot more recently. So, look at her. She's been at Hamburger Mary's for how long? Doing uh, ball busting bingo on Mondays. Charity bingo. Uh, by herself every single week. It's a sold out, always packed house. She's been integrating herself with the house cast at Mary's. So, doing Filthy Fifth Fridays. She's been doing other brunches with Chloe Katz. Because she really loves Chloe Katz. So, you see her integrating herself outside of her one woman stuff. With other artists. And I really, really love that. Um... I, I, I don't have a personal relationship with Mona. I don't really have a, we know each other, we talk, we kiki. But Mona has been somebody that when I went to my first ball busting bingo, I was laughing my head off. I learned so many things about hosting, so many different techniques about just like stage presence and, and tone in your voice that help attract a laugh or like get people excited to be there because it's funny. Um, one of my favorite memories with her, and it's also one of my favorite performances, is that I got to watch her at Ball Busting Bingo, and it was the first time I actually got to meet her in that instance. I was a boy, she was a girl, and I had to go up to her and be like, hi, I'm Jessica Lahore, I like want, I've always wanted to meet you, and it was like, it was like meeting like Denver royalty, because I consider Denver, or Mona Lot to be iconic Denver like, royalty and legend. Like, she's doing her own thing. She's been in the business for a long time. She has her one-woman show. She does ball-busting bingo. I'm like, this is somebody that I need to meet. So I finally got to meet her. That was a really great experience. 
Um, finally got to work with her more when we did co-hosting shows. But back to back to my favorite performance. My favorite performance and my favorite memory is when I went to go see her at a ball busting bingo. And her last song, I believe it's Hit Me With Your Best Shot. She takes off this robe and she has targets. And all the audience get these blow balls, Velcro balls, and you can just throw them at her. I think that's so fucking unique and so different and so much fun. Like, for real. And I think that that shows just, like, the humility that drag queens can have. Like, make fun of me, have a good time with me, I'm laughing at me, I'm laughing at you, let's laugh at each other kind of thing. Um, Mona keeps people rolling rolling on the floor. It's just joke after joke after joke. And she has a booming voice that does not want to t deter your, your attention. Um, I think Mona went through a lot. So there was a lot with, uh, she's very vocal about it on Facebook. She went, was in the hospital for a while. There were a lot of big medical things going on and there was a lot of support that came from the community to fill in those areas and places and stuff like that. And I can't imagine coming back from that and feeling like, Oh, like, I'm trying to make my comeback out of that, out of that situation, and how does that affect me now? And Mona, it, it didn't even matter. When Mona came back, people were so excited to see her. She did not lose any reputa reputation. She didn't lose any rapport with anybody. People were still back in action, actually more excited to see her. Um, I would personally love to work with Mona more, and I would love to go to her, her one-woman show, her comedy show. I keep talking about that, that it's a huge deal. You have to realize that no one consistently does that in Colorado. Um, I, I really love that she rewrites songs, that she's all about making people laugh and have a good time. I love that she's filthy. I love that she's crass on the mic sometimes. Um, I get a lot of my technique, like not a lot of, I get some of the techniques that I've seen from her of just how she gets her audience engaged. And I've tried to try to twist that to my own thing. So I've been influenced by that. Definitely. Um, Mona, I, I know that we don't have like the, the most personal relationship or most personal drag relationship, but know that you're somebody that I've been friends with on Facebook for a while that I followed and watched and that I look up to a lot when it comes to how you make f people feel like they can forget about their day and that they can just laugh or that they can just forget about being so sensitive to things and just have a good time. So this one goes out to you, Mona. I'll make sure to go follow her, show some favorite memories and show some love to her for photos, uh, favorite songs, performances, anything like that. Um, I think she's extremely unique to this community and I think more people should take the opportunity to reach out to her and, and work with her and book with her because I think she's fantastic. Um, love you, girl. See you next time. Bye, everybody.